Hello and welcome to the sixth Olympus iSpeed Labs. My name is Chris Robinson and today I'm going to show you how to operate multiple iSpeed cameras from a PC or laptop. We normally see this kind of setup in automotive impact testing labs or in ballistics ranges, but there are plenty of other applications where you would like multiple views of a single event, but you would like to control them from a position of safety. Today I'm going to use the iSpeed Control Pro software, so I have my Control Pro dongle handy. I'm going to trigger all the cameras from a single pickle switch, but there's no reason why you shouldn't use an automated trigger system like you would in a ballistics environment or an auto automotive car crash test environment. I'm going to use Ethernet cable to connect the cameras to a gigabit Ethernet switch. You could connect the cameras to an office network if you wanted to, but we don't recommend this because the heavy traffic from the cameras might disrupt the natural flow of the office network. I mentioned in the second iSpeed Labs that everything that's connected to an Ethernet network must have an IP address. I'm going to use the IP addresses 192, 168, 0, 54, 55, 56 and 57. Right, let's connect the cameras together. I've already connected the CDUs, the Ethernet cable, the power supplies and the feature connectors to all three cameras. Let's go and link them together. I'm going to start by connecting the trigger system together to the pickle switch. I'm going to use this chain of BNC adapters to connect the pickle switch onto the input and then I'm connecting the trigger input from each camera to my chain of BNC adapters. That was one, this is camera two and this is camera three. Now I'm going to connect the sync system together. I have the sync output from camera one which we're using as our master. I'll connect it to my chain of connectors and then it's the sync inputs to camera two and camera three connected together. Now let's check the Ethernet connections. I've already connected them into my gigabit Ethernet hub. This is the lead from camera one, camera two, camera three and this one is the lead from my laptop. So let's go and start the software. So I've booted my software and I'm now going to acquire all the cameras. Because this is a multi-camera demonstration I can click on the Acquire All button and I get a box offering me a range of IP addresses to search. I'll hit the search button and the laptop will acquire all three cameras. I'm going to click on the button that locks the controls of all the cameras together and then I'm going to move on the first camera, the master camera, to a frame speed of 500 frames a second. Today I'm going to use the auto download feature of the Control Pro software. I'll click on activate and it will now ask me to engage the auto download. So I click that and the recording sequence will begin. Once all three cameras are recording we can turn on the lights and we can now create a high speed event in three, two, one, now. Okay, the software, thank you, the software tells me that the recording has been completed, the cameras have triggered, and we're now transferring thumbnails. As you can see, these are coming into the strip view, and the software will now save the videos that we've just got into another folder. Once this is complete, I will disengage the auto download system, so that now we can see the strip view. And if you look, our event has occurred in all three cameras that were synchronized together, triggered together, and controlled together. Just to prove that we have the video, I'll look inside the folder that we preset earlier, and you can see the videos have now begun to save in that folder. So today, I've shown you how to connect multiple iSpeeds together, how to sync them together, trigger them together, and control them from a single laptop. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and why don't you join me on the next Olympus iSpeed Labs.